Precision medicine is changing the way we understand, diagnose, and treat cancer. The transformation is driven by high throughput molecular data from patients, animal models, and large scale cell line experiments. In this program, we will explore how the various omics data types can be analyzed to understand the basic biology associated with cancer onset, development, and outcomes. The program will start March 9th and continue until May 16th. During this time, we will learn to apply analysis of genomic and transcriptomic data to the study of breast cancer biology. The program speakers will offer insights into various aspects of cancer research and offer guided training on the use of the analytical tools that are used to process, analyze, and interpret data from public repositories. In the introductory section of the program, we will touch on oncology as a field. And in addition, we'll be discussing challenges associated with big data and cancer research. We will start by speaking about cancer biology at the cell and tissue levels. We're going to be breaking down the complexity of tumor development, as well as the roles of the tumor microenvironment. In the introductory section of the program, we'll touch on oncology as a field, as well as the challenges that are associated with big data and cancer research. We're also going to be speaking about DNA, genes, and RNA transcription. We will also learn about basic and translational research in oncology, where patient-derived cell lines, xenograph models, and clinical trials offer rich collections of data that are used in order to inform the diagnosis and treatment of cancer in patients. The recent growth in high-throughput sequencing of cancer genomes, as well as transcriptomes, have produced a big data problem. This big data problem precludes many cancer biologists, as well as oncologists, from gleaning knowledge from data regarding the nature of malignant processes, as well as the relationship between tumor genomic profiles and treatment responses. That's why we will learn about these data types, as well as how to both efficiently process and analyze such information. We will do so by learning about DNA variation such as single nucleotide polymorphisms and copy number variation. We'll do this by analyzing NGS genomic data, such as whole exome or whole genome sequencing. We will also spend considerable time learning about gene expression and RNA-seq, practicing each of the analysis steps on the user-friendly T-BioInfo platform. When we start the analysis, we have a library of unstructured data. The output from the pipeline is gonna be called structured data, where the columns are sample names, and the rows are gene or isoform IDs in ensemble format. Inside each cell, we'll find the quantified expression levels. We'll also be learning how to apply statistical approaches, such as regression, to study differences between conditions that have multiple factors. This will allow us to find relationships in the data, as well as find significant genes that are associated with cancer types or stages. These genes are the ones that we will use in biological interpretation using several methods that will help us gain a systematic understanding of found changes in expression. One of these methods we will learn about is gene set enrichment analysis. This is a process that can map certain genes to identify enriched pathways that are activated, deactivated, or deregulated. These pathways will give us insights into the biology of tumor development, as well as the interactions that are occurring within the microenvironment. We'll take a data set from the publication titled Modeling Precision Treatment of Breast Cancer, which was featured in Genome Biology in 2013. The publication is interesting because the authors assembled a data set of about 50 different breast cancer cell lines that represented the whole spectrum of breast cancer variations. These cell lines have genomic, transcriptomic, and proteomic data, as well as an efficacy measurement of the commonly used and experimental cancer drugs. We're also gonna be reviewing some of the data resources as well as databases that you can leverage in your research projects. To apply what we've learned in order to analyze data from cancer patients, we will review the most comprehensive collections of omics as well as clinical data that's found in the Cancer Genome Atlas, or TCGA, learning to navigate the Genomic Data Commons portal to find multi-omics datasets with clinical information about the samples. We'll take the samples from the Liver Hepatocellular Carcinoma Project, and then we'll see how various clinical data that is available for these patients can be used in the analysis of both gene expression as well as for microRNA. We welcome you to join us for this program and learn about the application of bioinformatics and precision oncology. We will leverage our top-rated online tutorials with smart tracking of activity, as well as curated data sets that are designed for a great learning experience. We'll also be leveraging easy-to-use analytical tools 
that one can access and utilize without any technical background in bioinformatics or coding. At the end of the program, participants will receive a certificate of participation. This program will start March 9th and continue until May 16th. There are discounted registration rates that are available for early registration.